Welcome back to Six Feet Apart Math at the Murray's. Today's episode is going to be slightly different. We're going to show you two experiments you can do at home. One being making your own lava lamp. And I'm going to show you how to make ice cream in a bag. And we're going to have a few other special guests along the way. Enjoy! Okay, so today we're going to make our own lava lamps with vegetable oil, water, food coloring, and effervescent tablets. Antacid tablets. Um, yeah. So we're going to use that. Don't forget Oreos. Okay, so what? No, there's no Oreos in there. What about blood holes or unicorn or dancing llamas? No, there's no dancing llamas. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is take the vegetable oil and we're going to fill it a little more than half. Okay. <laughs> Good That's thing we have seat. another one. A little more than half of the glass. It's probably good. But you need a little more. A little more? Okay. Is that good? Um, no. I think it's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And which um, food coloring should we use? What color do you blue, think? Blue, blue, blue. Blue? We don't have blue. We have purple, green, um, or orange. Let, let, let's do purple. You want to do purple? Mm -hmm. purple. You want to do green? First, but let's do purple. How about we do uh, eeny meeny miny mo? Eeny, eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Green. Purple. <laughs> We're doing green. All right. Okay. Okay. Squeeze it in there. Nope. Not in there. In here. In the water. Squeeze. Good job. And then Addie, you can squeeze too. And I can do purple. We're, we're gonna do green. Is that okay? All right, okay. all right. Addie's turn. Let her squeeze some in there. Squeeze. And get, get, you want a little help? Purple. You got it. Get purple. You want to put purple in it too? Yeah. What? Why not? I'm feeling crazy. Okay. At least you can do the green. I'll do the purple too. Yeah, we'll both do both. Okay, squeeze in there. Ooh, that's. Okay, now let Addie try the purple. And then I think that's enough icing. And don't forget orange. Orange too? <laughs> and don't forget these pillows. Oops. Well, this is green, we already have that, so I'll put a little orange in there. And don't forget This might me. turn brown. All right, that works. Okay, no. and I forgot a spoon, so I'm just gonna mix it with my hand. Watch out. Yeah, I do too. You wanna mix it with your hand too? Yeah. All right, watch out, Add. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. beep. Ooh, look at that color. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna take the water and fill it just a little bit above um or below the top of the glass. <laughs> perfect. Okay, that's good, thanks. Oopsie. Alright, you guys ready? We forgot to do this. Nope, that's this is good. Okay, so we're gonna go right to about there. Okay. And see how there's little balls. Do you see the balls in there? <laughs> okay, do you see? Look at it, because water and oil doesn't mix. It won't mix together, so it forms those little balls. Okay, yeah, let's... I think I did... Open this. A little bit too much. A little bit too much, maybe? <laughs> okay, so you're each gonna... Here, I'm gonna break this in half. It's a coin. This tablet. Yeah, it looks like a coin. Can I have Here. a piece? No, okay, and then you're going to put it in. You put yours in. And watch, they're going to float to the top. See the bubbles coming to the top? Look at it. Oh, Our wow. brown bubbles. <laughs> Is that cool? Look at it. Look at it. It's moving. Let's do more. You want to do more? <laughs> Why not? And we never, ever, ever put these in our mouths. They're not good for you. Oh, wait. Let's break it in half so you both can do it. Good job. Wow, that was perfect. <laughs> Give her one. Wow, it's going crazy. Put it in. <gasps> Do you like the way it feels at the top? And That's all of them. Can Look how cool that can is. You, touch it? you could touch it. Put your hand up there. Do you feel it? Can I touch little it? bubbles? Yes, put some more in. And that's how you make your own little lava lamp at home.
Yep. Hi everybody, it's Annie. I just wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to Taylor and Ken. Um, you guys have taught us so many great math skills, even during a school closure. So thank you. You guys did amazing. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the videos. They made my week every week. Um, and we really learned so much. So thank you for all of these great lessons. I can't wait to actually try some of the new skills we learned when we get back to school. I hope everyone has an amazing summer. Great job getting through this hard time. You guys did amazing. So keep up the good work and we can't wait to see you again in the fall. I miss you all. I hope you guys have a great summer. But first, make sure you guys stay safe and enjoy the sun and see you guys next year. Bye. So. One of the things we're going to show you today is how to make ice cream in a bag. I'm sure a lot of you have seen how to do this, but I want to show it again because we can use measuring and all different other types of things we've gone over that are also math related. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have all your ingredients laid out. You're going to need ice, then we're using chocolate syrup for a flavor, sugar, a measuring cup, other measuring cups, salt, half and half, you can use whole milk or cream too, it's up to you. Um, you're going to need a large bag and a small bag for mixing ingredients. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to put the ice. Yes, honey. We need to put the ice in to this bag. So start by getting some ice and putting it in the bag. You want to fill your bag up about halfway. So let me just take a chunk here. A little bit more. It went on down. That's okay. It'll melt. Now the next thing you want to do is take your salt and you can use any type of salt. They do make special ice cream rock salt that you could buy in the store. At least wants to do it. But what you do is, is you take it and you pour it into the bag. Ice cream. Okay. Good job. And you mix it up. Oh, you can help in one second. So then we put this to the side for now. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to put all of our ingredients into this bag that's going to be the actual ice cream. So we start with our half and half. Now we're going to use about a cup of half and half. So thank you, honey. So we're going to fill it up to about a cup, maybe a little bit more. That's okay. But don't spill it. I won't spill it. We're gonna put this into the bag. Now this is kind yeah, of a difficult mix part. It, mix it. Do we need how to mix it? We will mix it, honey. This is the part that's difficult. Getting this part into here. Now do we mix <laughs> You're gonna make messes. The messes are okay. <laughs> so Daddy, I told you. If someone can if, <laughs> thank you. If someone could get some paper towel that's not doing anything else, <laughs> that's around the studio. <laughs> So we have our our half and half in here. The next thing we need to do is add our sugar. So we're gonna I know we're gonna put our sugar onto here. Can I do that? Yeah, it's Addie's turn. Put it in. Hold on, we don't mix yet. Oh, we're making messes. We're outside though. Can you put it in? Can you help me? Thank you. Good job. And we're going to add just a little bit of chocolate sauce for some flavoring. You could use vanilla extract if you're making vanilla. You could use regular strawberries. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in. And then we got to make sure that we tightly close this bag. It's a rich and Okay. Not next, Daddy. And if there's air in it, you want to get the air out. But we need to... I know we need paper towel. Go get paper towel. This is not closing for me. Here we go. Check that up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it into this bag. Paper towel. Paper towel. Cover the ice on it. And then we're going to close this bag. And now the fun part is you get to shake this for seven to ten minutes. So you get to start shaking, and you really just got to keep shaking. And when we come back, hopefully, we will have successfully made ice cream in a bag. Hi everyone! Just wanted to 
to wish you all a great summer. I miss you all so very much. Can't wait to see you all in the fall. Have a great summer. Be kind. Do something nice for somebody. Stay away from watching TV. Get outside and enjoy the beautiful days. You're all so very special to all of us, and we miss you. We'll all be together very soon, so take care. Have a great summer. See you in the fall, guys. Hey guys, well, we only have a few days left. Can you believe we made it through three months of this virtual learning stuff? I know it hasn't always been easy, but thanks for the work that you have done and enjoy this uh, time off before our summer school starts up. I know I will. See you soon. Okay, so we've been shaking this for quite some time. And after shaking it for quite some time, I realized I shouldn't be eating ice cream considering it's a hard to shake the ice cream. <laughs> But when you're about done, as you can see, it's not just liquidy anymore. It's got a harder consistency, almost like ice cream, like we were trying to make. So hopefully that's a good sign. And I want ice cream. So as you see, when we put it into the bowl, it is like a light chocolate ice cream. Mm. So let's see from some critics that we have here, if the ice cream is any good. Here, honey, can you try some? Here you go. Okay. Do you want to try some ice cream? Do you want TT to try first? No. So hey! <laughs> it is pretty good, chocolatey, cold and refreshing. Now you try. You want okay. me to try first? Nobody else seems to want I some want, here. I want some. And um, so all of you, this is how you make homemade ice cream at home. What happened bon appetit. Congratulations, you made it through another school year and what a great job you've all done in getting all your work done in such a difficult time. I'm so proud of you and I miss you all. I can't wait to see you next school year. Have a great summer. Hello, my Aces family. I'm missing each and every one of you in these perilous times due to this pandemic and this world being an outrage. You know the storm shall pass, and we shall all be together soon with joyfulness. I am praying for each and every one of your family. I love y'all, and we'll be back together soon. All right? See you later. Peace. Thanks again for watching 6 no, Part Math at the Murray's. No, Thank you to all the staff that helped us make videos along the way. We really appreciate all the positive feedback we've gotten at the end of this school year. And after a short few weeks off, we will come back to you in the summer program with more math videos for you to enjoy. Have a safe summer. Bye, everybody.